Hey everyone, Dr. Frunky here with a new knife consult on one of my most anticipated knives of 2018, and that is the Riot Knives Jack. And why is it one of my most anticipated knives? Well, Riot Knives is one of my favorite production manufacturers. They always do a good job, and this one just happens to be, yep, that's right, an integral handled knife. You guys know if you follow my channel that I go crazy for an integral handle. So much so uh, be, that I have purchased some pretty high-end knives. Here is a Peter Rosenti full-size Nirvana right there. Here is a Peter Rosenti small Satori. These are both my knives. These are both integral titanium handled knives. But now we're entering an era where production companies are manufacturing these very high-end uh, integral handled knives. And so I wanted to get into this and see what Riot was bringing to the table. I'm going to have a separate video where I discuss sort of diff the differences in production and uh, custom uh, integral handled knives. Uh, but this video is going to focus on the jack. So what is the jack? This knife is brought to us by Riot Knives from China. It is a Chinese uh, made knife and it is designed in-house uh, by a guy who goes by at Solo Designer on Instagram. Uh, he's one of the designers over there at Riot and he is uh, intimately involved with the company and he designed this knife in-house and they have executed it uh, to this degree of excellence. And so it's a great design overall. I think it really captures the eye. And so we're going to go ahead and get into the details of this knife and see why I think that this was the most impressive production knife at Blade Show 2018. If I have one regret from Blade Show, it's that I did not buy this knife. It is that good. I wanted to go ahead and thank my friend Sid for sending this knife along so that I could show it to you guys. So Let's get some vital signs on the jack here. So if I get this lined up appropriately, we're looking at about 4.1 inches of overall blade length right there back to the handle. It's a hair over 4 inches. Back to the pivot, you're looking at almost 4.6 and it's 9.2 inches in overall length. The handle here is coming in at about 5 and a quarter inches. With the forward finger choil, you get a full uh, 5 and a half inches of effective grip area. The blade stock is coming in at 173 thousandths. The handle thickness is coming in at 0.6 inches right there. So it is a big, big knife. And this big titanium integral handle, even with those carbon fiber inlays, makes this thing a bit heavy at 6.75 ounces, six and three quarters ounces. So quite a heavy, big knife right here. But this really is a uh, manufacturing tour de force for Riot. And uh, let's dive into the details here and break this knife down anatomically. Uh, up front is that blade in M390 steel done in a hand rub satin. It's got a buoy style clip point, uh, sort of modified clip point style blade. Uh, really, really beautifully done. Very effective and uh, useful blade style. Very huge, okay? So there's no messing around. When you bring this knife out of your pocket, this is absolutely an intimidating and large piece. Uh, you could throw this into the pocket sword category. Look how far away from my fingers that blade extends. I have a very large hand and there is a whole lot of blade up there. Even holding it a bit like this, a bunch of handle protrudes from the back. It's hard to be subtle with a blade this big. I need you to understand what you're picking up if you're interested in this knife. It is incredible though. Look at the hand rubbed finish. It's almost polished. It will capture my face, which you don't want to see. There is Riot and there is M390 on the back of the blade right there. Beautifully done. I love this blade shape. I must say that it reminds me a bit of a Gavco. Uh, not that it's a uh, a copy design in any way. There are a lot of knives that look like this, but for in my knife history, it sort of uh, hits that for me. But what that means is it gives it sort of a look that it's alive or it's a living thing. And I appreciate finding that in knives. It gives me a reason to be interested in the knife. Uh, and I see that there. There is a full-size forward finger choil, uh, which allows you to get your thumb right there on there. Speaking of my thumb, I have a bit of a cut, so I apologize. I have a, a Band-Aid on there rather than showing it to you guys. You can also get your finger uh, a little bit more up there. I noticed that I use that quite a bit for draw cuts, and that's quite comfortable. Moving back to the pivot, this thing runs unbelievably smoothly on ceramic ball bearings. Riot knows how to make a smooth flipper with perfect action and perfect detent. It is ideally tuned. Listen to the noise. 
There's a, a the 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 cameras the phone will never capture the actual noise. Uh, uh, it sounds like a, a bank vault door opening very quickly and then slamming into place. Uh, it's it's an impressive sound and it uh, locks up very firmly. The integral handle gives a very solid feel when you lock up like that. One of the most impressive things about the pivot is these uh, are these damasteel pivot collars. Take a look at this one. This has a, uh, a variant that has some concentric circles. Uh, the one that I loved the most had these small little rosettes of the rose damasteel pattern. That was incredible. I hope they do it in that style. Really beautiful contrast to the handles. Speaking of the handles here, it is done in a full piece of 6AL4V titanium. Check out the milling on the spine here and the integrated lanyard hole. Sorry for the dust. Look at the milling and the spine. Beautiful, beautiful stuff right here. Uh, the handles are then milled and these large pieces of high chatoyancy marbled carbon fiber are inlaid in there. And you can see as you go around the knife where the inlay sort of is placed, the thickness of the inlay. You can see it on the back here what that looks like, the tight tolerances, the very, they're, they're all flush. There's nothing that's protruding. Can't feel the seams anywhere along this. And they're, they're contoured. So not only that, but if you look at the angle here, the, the carbon fiber is contoured to go along with the titanium as if the uh, titanium had been there too. So it's all a contoured shape. Let's take a look at the lock up here. There is in fact a steel lock bar insert in there. Uh, there is an over travel stop. There is uh, a little bit area milled out right here. Uh, it's not dissimilar to say a, uh, a Shirogorov. Uh, where is my Shirogorov? I don't know where I put that thing. Uh, it's sitting around here somewhere. Anyways, I set it somewhere. I can't find it. Uh, but it reminds me of the Shirogorov uh, in terms of the milled out area right there. And it's easy to disengage. And look at how the blade falls. Just falls right down into the handle. Uh, speaking of comparing this to some other knives, why don't we do that? I don't think I actually did that. Here's a paramilitary two. So you can see that this knife actually dwarfs the para two right here. Don't even need to bring out the para three. Here's a real steel megalodon. This is a rather big knife right here, another four inch knife. You can see this is more than four inches. It really is over four inches. Quite a huge knife right there. Uh, why don't I bring out a Peter Rosenti Snafu 2.0. That's a three and a quarter inch blade right there. Another awesome integral knife that Sid sent along to me. Sid also sent his uh, Jason Guthrie Rover. Take a look at how tiny that Rover looks right there next to it. I'll bring out uh, my, my Peter Rosenti Nirvana is basically the exact same size. Here we've got uh, my coating knives Arius right there. All right. Uh, and that, uh, here, oh, here, here's my Shirogorov. I'll bring on my Shirogorov F3 so you can see another knife with beautiful carbon fiber inlays. So uh, this Riot Knives Jack is a big, beautiful expression of Riot's ability to produce a high quality integral handled knife. And, uh, something that I think is going to be an interesting comparison in a video that I'm absolutely going to be making is a uh, comparison with this knife. This is the Wee Knives 811 Tai Chi. This is also an integral handled knife that costs $100 less. That's a limited production that just came out from Wee Knives. You can see that video on my channel. Uh, I love this Riot Knives Jack. I, again, this was my favorite production knife of the 2018 Blade Show. I think it was the the most impressive of them all. It's a bit big, it's a bit heavy, but it's absolutely beautiful. If you have a, a need for a larger, slightly heavier EDC knife, and you want the absolute highest quality piece, this may be my favorite production knife of 2018, simply based on how well done this is. I would love to see this knife in about a three uh, 0.3 inch variant, something like that. 3.5 would be good for me too, but at 3.3 inches, I think it would be different enough from this knife to justify making a new model. Riot Knives, please make this in a smaller version so that we can EDC this knife. It's too big for EDC almost anywhere right now, but this would be brilliant in a slightly smaller size. Tell me what you guys think of this knife, the Riot Knives Jack down below. Definitely one of the most exciting knives this year coming out of Riot. Uh, leave some comments down below. Go ahead and click like and subscribe to my channel. Head over to Instagram and check me out at Dr. Frunky over there. Check out Riot Knives. And as always, guys, this is Dr. Frunky saying, take care.